darkness Oh God my Father There is no shadow Of turning with Thee Thou changes not Thy compassion They fail not And as Thou hast been Thou forever will be
got a little favor this morning. Brother Tony, would you kick off a special tribute for an amazing couple that is celebrating 69 years of being married together? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Brother Tony, please. Welcome, celebrate, and honor Deacon Robert Carpenter and Reverend Opal Carpenter, 69 blessed years together. Come on, let's celebrate them. Come on, let's love on them.
you may be seated. Yes, sir, director. <laughs> there are several presentations from the family uh, to honor these forebears, these generals in the faith. Uh, but I know to many of you, they are grandma, grandpa, mom, dad, and great grandma, great grandpa, and then some. So those of you who have prepared uh, just to bring your tokens, would you come at this time, please? And Covenant, will you just give a rousing applause as they process down the center aisle to come and make their presentations. Hey, hey. They're coming, they're coming. They're coming. Yeah, you come on. Now, 69 years, you got you got to march on this one. You hear me? Yeah, they, they took their time. We're going to take our time. Yes, Jesus. Amen. Wow. So much love. So much love. Can we celebrate them one more time? You all keep coming. You all keep coming. So much love, so much love. Good to see you, good to see you. God bless you. Yes, indeed. Multiple generations, years of God's faithfulness right in front of our eyes. God is good. Hallelujah. Okay, family, I think they're getting ready to line you up to take a photo, and then we will take more photos at the end of the service. God bless you. Line up, line up, everybody. They're getting ready to take a photo. Hallelujah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Y'all squeeze it. Act like you like each other now. our hands together for this family once more. Now, now, Rev Carpenter and Deacon Carpenter, y'all don't go nowhere. Y'all don't go nowhere. Y'all just stay right where you are. Family, you all can return to your seats, but I need the Deacon and the Reverend to just remain up front just for a moment longer. Just for a moment longer. Just for a moment longer. God bless you all. So much love. So many family members are in the room. God bless each and every one of you for coming and celebrating. Deke and Rev, we need you just for, just for a moment longer. Just one moment. Just one moment. Thank you so much, Sister Judy, Sister Selma. Thank you so much. Elder Frank, thank you. 
Sister Arlene, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, could I have, could I have uh, Sister Jerry and Brother Jesse Wade to join this lovely couple down at the front, please? I don't, I don't see uh, Brother and Sister Evans. They're here. Okay, praise God. Would, would Brother and Sister Evans, would you all join us down at the front here also, please? It's good to have help. Yeah. Spe especially when he, what are you, 6'5? Jesus, have mercy. You got a mustache yet? Oh, okay. All right. Thank God. Train, I train them up in the way that they should go. Let's put our hands together for real for these wonderful, beautiful. Come on, let's celebrate them. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Now, I'm just, I'm going to let y'all know your pastor is, is one part saved, one part insane. I'm just going to let you know. I'm just going to let you know. And so these beautiful people, wise as they are, have no idea why they are up here. And I may get in trouble later, so I'm going to do it while I can. But we have learned over the years, we have learned that honor, honor, is godly honor is godly and what we cannot do in a TikTok Instagram real generation is allow ourselves to become so enamored with the next trend that we forget on whose shoulders we stand Oh, yes. Yeah, I, I was born at night, not last night. My mama raised me right. I've learned that you cannot turn around at 18 and act like now you have arrived. And now everything you've got to say is just everything the world has been waiting on. No, baby, pe folk have been doing you before you got here. And I recognize this, that this church has a rich and storied tradition and history of faithful women and men who have served the Lord humbly, consistently, and with their all. And there are others of you that will be seated up here soon, but today, is their day. So my brothers and my sisters, my mothers and fathers, if they mess with you, just tell me, I got you. I want to present these certificates of recognition. Each couple has one. Let's, let's start with it couple here. I want to start with these couples. I want to give them a certificate of recognition. These certificates read thus. On behalf of Covenant Faith Church, we extend our gratitude and appreciation for your years of faithfulness and service. May this token of honor represent our enduring love and thanksgiving. Now let me tell you what these mean. Hold on. Let me tell you what these certificates mean. I, I called the elders, as I'm known to do, said I have a crazy idea. Said what else is new, Pastor? 
said, I, I feel way down in my knower that there is a way that we can honor some of these cornerstones of our church. And I asked the elders if I could come before God's people and announce that at a later date, we will be dedicating various wings of this building in the honor of these couples seated in front of you. Is that all right? Can we do that, Covenant Faith? Let's celebrate them together. Okay, you can hand out the bouquets now. You get just to each, to each couple. Thank you, sir. Because it's important, family, it's important to give people their flowers while they can smell them. And these tokens, they're from our heart. They're from our gratitude. They're from our understanding that covenant faith is and will be because you have been faithful. And we thank God for each and every one of you. Let's celebrate them one more time. Can we take some photos for each of them? God bless. Thank you so much. Amen. They're going to take a photo. Straight ahead, they're going to take a photo. Amen, 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 amen. They're going to take some pictures. And as they're taking these photos, saints, I want you to know that it is our heart to honor. And so in the next coming months, next coming weeks, we're going to find excuses to honor folk. We're just going to pop up and be like, hey, you getting some honor, you getting some honor. You getting some honor. Everybody's getting honor. <laughs> because far too often in our meritocracy of a society, we wait to see what you can do for me before we give you any props. And in this TikTok and Instagram follower generation, we wait to see if what you can do is better than me before we give you props. But in the body of Christ, it is not so. We have learned that whenever there's an opportunity to bless somebody, you better do it with all that you've got. And these folks are well, well deserving. Let's celebrate them one more time. Can you help them? Sister Tori, Sister Judy, thank you so much. We'll collect those for you and help you get them at a later time. And can I have a couple other ushers just to come help? Thank you so much, Rev Desi. Thank you, church, for standing with me and allowing me to honor these forebears of our church. Amen. Thank the Lord for his grace and his goodness. Amen. In the hallway, in our, in our hallway, uh, right by where the, the te television is in the center of the hallway, God bless you, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Did you need the microphone? Uh, could, could Josh Murphy come over here? Murphy. You know, I'm going to forget the old man right now. Bobby, send up our great-grandson. Come on up here. This, this is our great-grandson, Josh. Church, you all prayed for this young man in being born. His mother had the hardest time of him coming into this world. And when he came into this world, he wasn't quite right. But the saints at Covenant Faith and Emerald Avenue prayed for this young man while he was in his mother's womb. And a, per a horrible thing that well, it was horrible at first, but it turned out to be joyful. We were called up to the hospital to see him. And they had him in uh, this little basket or whatever this thing it was. And he was about couple of feet was just a little bigger than my hand laying there with them things growing all out of tubes and it made an old man weep 
and as the old man's weeping, he, I looked at him, and he started to leap it in that, in that thing. We had a joyful time looking at this young boy. This young man here is born under prayer. He might go his own way, which he is a young man. Young people are going to go their own way. But he had more prayer on him than Moses. We love you. We love this, this family here. We love coming to faith. All y'all. It's, 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 it's a whole lot of y'all we don't know. Which, that's all right. We know you in the spirit. Because most of us that come from Emerald Avenue, I got a book with lines run through the names. But we are here just to thank the people that are representing Covenant Faith Church of God yes. with a young Timothy yes. as our leader. Yes. And we plan, to, we plan to follow this young man in his plan. Because if he get out of line, God got him. That's right. <laughs> Bless you, sir. Let's celebrate them one more time.